Shalom, shalom, shalom. Back for another quick lesson. And first and foremost, as always, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. And next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who teach you who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of what people hear or forbear. And uh, I'm just going to, this is a quick in transit lesson. Uh, I've been, I went out of town for a little bit on the way back and I had to bring something out, man. I, I didn't feel right not getting the lesson in. So, you know, by any means necessary, man. So I'm cruising, but I'm, I'm still going to bring out some scriptures. All right. So first we're going to go ahead and uh, pretty much what I want to speak on today is, is uh, keeping yourself, your mind focused on, on the reading of the scriptures, soaking up as much knowledge as you can. All right. This is uh, extremely important, especially uh, with the times that we're coming into, because Isaiah 33 and 6 tells us that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. So if you don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, then, you know, you're going to be you're going to be in, in trouble soon come when everything pops off, which we, we prophesy of uh, day in and day out, you know, week in, week out, nonstop. We prophesy of, of what's coming. OK, and to prophesy means to. I'll tell you what's going to happen before it even happens, all right? We prophesy what's coming upon the whole face of the earth, but we're specifically speaking to the children of Israel, all right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. This is who this message is for, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and um, get some scriptures. We're going to jump into Sirach, Sirach chapter 39, all right? <clears throat> and uh, let's see. So Rock chapter 39 and verse 1, it says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High is occupied in the meditation thereof. All right? So you got to give your mind to the law of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai as much as possible. All right? Where do you find the laws? They're all throughout the Bible. But the law of sex commandments is speaking of the laws of Moses. All right? The commandments of, of Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, He will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Because that's the only thing that that's really that really matters at this time all right nothing nothing else nothing else that's in this in this world really matters you know as it um as it speaks of um in the second Ezra chapter 14 it tells you put off the, the mortal thoughts and the weak nature all right so you have to you have to you know put off the thoughts of, of the things of this world because all this is going to be wiped away anyways it says verse 2 he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are he will be there also. All right, so he's going to keep the sayings of the, of the renowned men, you know, uh, King David, uh, King Solomon, and all, all of the noble men, our forefathers, that are found throughout the Bible. All right, we, we, we look at them, and we, we, see, we see the examples uh, of that they that they set. Uh, first and foremost, Yahweh Shai, all right? But, um, you know, you got Job, you got uh, King Solomon, which is Yahweh Shai reincarnated, or before he uh, was reincarnated into Yahweh Shai. And, uh, you know, we, we look at that and we see, we see those examples, as it says in uh, Romans, I believe, 15 and 4. Go ahead. Actually, go ahead and get that for me. Get a new, new tab. Give me Romans 15 and 4. All right. Yep. So as I was saying, you know, um, you know, we, we look at we look at the examples of old, all right. Okay. I believe this is it. So Romans 15 and 4, and it says, for everything that oh, this is an NIV. Let's get I'm getting the K, KJV. Get a uh, KJV behind me. Now, now I want to hold that though. Go back, go get in, uh, just type in, uh, go back. Just click back and then go put KJV behind the circle. Okay. So Romans 15 and 4, KJV. Okay. All right. Good. So Romans 15 and 4 in the KJV, it tells you, it says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope all right so the things you know we look at the stories of old we look at the noble men 
all right and when we we, 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 might, we uh, gain hope through that all right it says I'm gonna read that again for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and faith so like you through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope all right so we, we keep our mind occupied on those things get me uh, going to that search bar right there type in some rock 2 and 10 all right so you know we got to constantly be keeping our minds occupied on prophecies constantly keeping our minds occupied on the laws of the Lord judges 5 and 11 tells us to rehearse the righteous acts so here we are at Sirach also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha chapter 2 and verse 10 it says look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him all right so that you know these we look at these things we look at we look at the noble men uh noah all right we look at uh daniel and uh daniel and he, his three buddies uh shamrach meshach and abednego all right and we see how the lord protected them all right these 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 things give us comfort and hope and we're going to need that uh for the time that we're coming into all right so we got to keep our mind occupied on these prophecies going back to sirach chapter 39 and uh let's see verse 2 i'm gonna read it again he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. All right, because the wisdom of the Lord comes in dark parables. Matter of fact, uh, let me see. Go to tab number three and get me Proverbs chapter one. All right. The wisdom of the Lord is spoken in, in uh, parables. All right. And dark sayings. Okay. It's, you know, the, the, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven have been given to the elect. All right, ain't been given to the to the whole the whole world. All right. Let's see. So this is uh Proverbs chapter one and verse uh, uh I'm gonna start at um Salaki. This this is what you gain from keeping your mind focused on these prophecies. Proverbs chapter one and verse one. The Proverbs of Solomon, a renowned man, which is also uh Yahushai, okay? Yahushai was Solomon reincarnated, the son of David, king of Israel to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding all right to receive the instruction of wisdom justice and judgment and equity to give subtlety to the simple to give subtlety to the simple to the young man knowledge and discretion a wise man will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding will attain will shall attain unto wise counsel all right Verse 6, to understand a proverb and an interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. So you see, you keep your mind occupied in this prophecy, keep your mind focused so you can understand the words of the wise and their dark sayings because they come in dark parables. You see, it's not, you know, the Lord, the Lord is, uh, he, uh, he, didn't, he didn't give it to everyone, all right? And but once again, man, you know, the more that you study the Lord, uh, diligently, you know, if, if you're of the elect, the Lord will, will reveal things to you. Matter of fact, uh, uh, go ahead and type in, uh, get me a uh, search bar, Amos 3 and 7. Go ahead and bring that up. All right, so the Lord, you know, he, he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, all right, as we're about to get right now. All right, so if you're of that yoke, and, you know, it behoove you to, to stay focused on, on, on the gift that the Lord has given you. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. It says, surely the Lord power will do nothing. The Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets, all right? So he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets, which are in the 144,000 and the elect men, um, you know, the elect men of the nation of Israel, which consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And our job is to go and teach those, teach those things to the people. Give me a uh, Jeremiah 3 15. All right, once again, the Lord, you know, he, he gave us those secrets for a reason. He ain't just given to us to be sitting on them, you see? All right, and you know, you want to be a good store to the Lord, uh, you, you got to keep the commandments. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. It says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart. All right, and the pastors that he's speaking of is the uh, the men that he set up to be to be the preachers. All right, he's going to give them to the, to the as a gift to the to the uh, hopeful elect. All right, so they can they can break down these dark parables, these prophecies. All right, and, and uh, uh, speak the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. I, I'm going to read that again. Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right. 
and this is uh you see this is this is what the lord has ordained uh the men to be doing so we got to be out here studying and keeping our sword sharp so that we can cut down lies all right because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal they are in these scriptures all right with these we're able to take down strongholds all right our people our people have uh, strongholds against their mind they have they've been li lied to and deceived for so long that the truth sounds foreign to them all right but once again man the lord he's called us to wake up the elect all right so let's uh let's go back to Sirach 39 and uh let's see what was that Sirach 39 and verse 3 actually yeah, uh, verse 4 it says he shall serve among great men and appear before princes he will travel through strange countries for he hath trusted so like for he hath tried the good and the evil among men he will give his heart to resort early to the Lord. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and will make supplication for his sins. All right, so, you know, that is uh, the Lord calling, uh, calling the elect, all right, to repent to him early, meaning before the destruction comes, before the well, Jacob's trouble comes, all right, while the rest of the world is still sleeping, the elect you know, is, is being wake, woken up, and they're out there uh, uh, keeping their keeping their white robes on there. You know, that, that are being washed in the blood of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right, being being made clean and pure. It says, <clears throat> let's see, verse eight, six, Salakia. Says, verse six, when the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. All right, so when the Lord decides, you know, to, to wake up the elect, he's going to pour his, pour his spirit upon them, all right? As it says in um, Joel chapter 2, Isaiah chapter 44, all right? He shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel with, he shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and, and in his secrets shall he meditate, all right? The secrets that the Lord has, has uh, revealed to him, all right, through the power of the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. He says, <clears throat> verse 8, He shall show forth that which he hath learned and shall glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord. All right, so that's, you know, he's going to show forth that, that which he hath learned. You know, the Lord has put this put that spirit upon him. He's going to be out there on the highways and byways. That's what the true man of the elect is going to be doing. All right, the ones that the Lord ordained to do that. They're going to be out there on the highways and byways teaching and prophesying. All right. Speaking the word of the Lord unto the children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. It says, <clears throat> verse 9, Many shall commend his understanding, and so long as the world endureth, it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not depart away, and his name shall live from generation to generation. Because, you know, those men of the elect are going to receive great honor, all right? And the name is going to live on from generation to generation. Nations shall show forth his wisdom, and the congregation shall declare his praise. If he die, he shall leave a greater name than a thousand, and if he live, he shall increase it. Yet have I more to say, which I have thought upon, for I am filled as the moon at the full. All right. <clears throat> so, I'll keep reading. Hearken unto me, ye holy children, and bud forth as the rose growing by the brook of the field, and give ye sweet savor as frankincense, and flourish as a lily, send forth a smell, and sing a song of praise. Bless the Lord in all his works. All right. So, you know. There you go, man. Um, <clears throat> you know, the Lord is is, is uh, waking up the elect, and He's He's calling us to to be uh, keeping our mind focused on the dark parables, the mysteries of the Scriptures. Let's go to uh, Isaiah, it'd be Isaiah twenty nine, Isaiah chapter twenty nine. All right, so we got we got to stay focused, you know, brothers and you, you sisters out there, you know, you got to be. Uh, Continuing to do your part, supporting the men of the Lord, and also also studying for your, you know studying and, and gaining the understanding for yourself as well. All right, Isaiah chapter twenty nine, verse. Uh, let's see. Isaiah chapter twenty nine and verse. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Slakia. Okay, here it is. Found it. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse uh, 17. It is not yet a very little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, 
and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. All right, so the Lord, you know, he, that's that's speaking of um, the deaf hearing the words of the book, like people who people who were who were uh, Gentiles in the world. All right, they, you know, they they didn't have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. The Lord is he's he's putting that spirit on them to wake up, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. All right, so we see that. We see that happening, right? The elect is, is taking joy that we now have the 100% truth according to the Bible. Give me Isaiah 33. Yeah. So we got, you know, we got to stay focused on this. So once again, this is going to be the, this knowledge wisdom should be the stability of thy times. All right. Water. All right, Isaiah 33. <clears throat> and of course, I'm going to read, uh, let's see. Start at verse uh, verse five. It says, "The Lord is exalted, for He dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. All right, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is His treasure. All right. So that's once again, man. That's why we got to keep our minds focused on this knowledge, this wisdom, and this understanding. All right. <clears throat> Let's see." It says, uh, I'm going scroll, to scroll on down to verse 14. It says, uh, the sinners of Zion are afraid. Yep, yep, verse 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Whom among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? All right, that's talking about two-thirds. Verse 15. He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly... He that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure. You see? I right, said so the Lord is he's saying, he's, he's saying that he's going to take care of the elect. All right? That's what that's saying. <clears throat> It says, uh, let's see, there's a specific scripture that I wanted to get. Um, go to Google and type in thine eyes or thy teachers shall no more be hid from thee. And type in KJV behind that. Thy teachers shall no more be hid from thee. KJV behind it. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Isaiah 30. Yep, here it is. Yep, Isaiah 30, yep. Con, con. Here it is. This is Isaiah chapter 30. And verse, uh, let's see. Verse 18, it says, let's see. And therefore, now nah, you know what? Okay, verse 17. One thousand shall flee. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one, and at the rebuke of five shall ye flee, till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain, and an ensign on a hill. And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you, and for the Lord is a God of for the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed, blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. All right. So, you know, once again, man, uh, you, you men of the Lord, you know, the Lord is waking up the elect. They're out here preaching the word. Okay. And they are, um, you know, bringing, bringing the hundred percent truth according to the Bible. Uh, out to the children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. You know, it's the will of the, of the Heavenly Father. All right, uh, verse, verse 21, 
It says, And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is this is the way. Walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. All right. So, you know, that's what we're out here doing. We're, we're telling the people how they should be moving. All right. And, uh, you know, we got to, we got to, for the men, you got to keep ourselves focused on the word. Give me uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4. And that tab, and I'll close out with this. First Timothy chapter four. Let me get that right quick. Okay. All right. This is a beautiful closeout. First Timothy chapter four. It says, "You know, I'll start at um. <clears throat> let's see. Okay. First Timothy chapter four." Verse, uh, verse 9, it says, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power, who is the Savior of all men, all Israelite men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. All right, so that's the commandment from the Lord. He says, these things we ought to be teaching. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, meaning meaning uh, in your manner of life, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbyter. Okay? Verse 15, meditate, meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. So we got to meditate on the things that are the gifts that the Lord has given to us. It says, ne neglect not the gift that is in thee, all right? It says, uh, meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. So take heed unto yourself. You got to watch how you're moving, that the ministry not be blamed. All right, I think that's... um. 2 Corinthians 6 and 3, it's either 2 Corinthians or 1 Corinthians 6 and 3. It says, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, and continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt, shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. All right, and that's ultimately what it's all about receiving salvation from Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right, so we got to take heed unto ourselves and to the doctrine, and continue in them. All right, for in doing so, we shall both save ourselves and them that hear us. All right, also. You know, I just want to emphasize, meditate upon these things and give thyself to the holy to them. We got to keep our minds focused on, on the prophecies, the words, because this is going to be our, our stability and salvation, our strength of our salvation. All right. So that's all I got for you guys uh, tonight. Um, just want to get a quick lesson in. You know, I couldn't, couldn't let the day close out without bringing something out. Feed the flock. You know, as, as, uh, as um, <clears throat> Yahweh Shai said, Matter of fact, give, give me uh, <laughs> give me uh, give me John four and thirty four. Give me that right quick. Yeah, yeah. John four and thirty four. You know, how wish I said? This is, I just, just get it from his word, from his mouth. All right. <clears throat> and he said, uh, he said, yeah, how wish I said to them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. So that's you know, just a quick closeout, man. You know. Yeah, that's I I I ain't feel right <laughs> not feeding the flock all day. I've been I've been busy, but I had I had to get a lesson in, you know what I'm saying, and um give me uh Hebrews ten and twenty-four. <laughs> oh man, it's just flowing. It's yeah, give me Hebrews ten and twenty-four. Alright. Once again, man, you know, just emphasizing that, man, just uh, you know, doing the work, keeping on and that that that's that's reading and exhortation. Hebrews ten and twenty-four, and this is what I'm doing for you, brothers right now and let us consider one another i'm considering you guys you guys are in my heart you're in my mind to provoke unto love which is keeping the law sets commandments and to good works all right so you know keeping up with this ministry doing the work all right and keeping the law sets commandments to the best of your ability so with that being said i'm gonna close out uh as always all praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakadash lord willingness is edifying to the elect where we be scattered across the four winds of heaven with that being said shalom Allah.